Hello, we'll use this video to show how to perform an import from bill.com starting from the 1099.com dashboard. Click the import menu and then bill.com to begin, then enter your bill.com credentials and click proceed. If your bill.com login applies to more than one company, you can choose the one you want to work on here. If you only work on one company in bill.com, choose that one. Then select a tax year and click the load data button. If this is the first import for this year, you will not see this pop-up. It only applies when there is saved data from a previous import for this company. Choose New Import to start with a fresh data set from Build.com or OK to use to save data if you do see this pop-up. Each payer from Build.com will be missing the EIN, which is not tracked in Build.com. Use the edit box to the right of the payer name to update the EIN. By default, the vendor payments are collapsed. All payments recorded for a specific vendor are present. Click Expand All to see them. Green dots indicate complete data. Red dots indicate missing or invalid data. You can download the errors by using the Download Error List Excel button. Click on the vendor name when data is missing or invalid to enter the updated data. Any vendor you want to create a 1099 for needs to have a green dot next to the name. You can also change box numbers or amounts here. Use the Edit button in the Payment row to change the box amount or box number for an individual vendor. Select multiple vendors or all payments for the payer or a specific vendor and use the Apply to Selected Recipients option to change multiple box numbers. When updates are complete, you can export the data to Excel here, re-import using the Refresh button, add new items that may not have been included in Bill.com, or move forward with the process by selecting the applicable vendors and clicking Next. You can view the form for any vendor here. Data is still stored on a temporary basis at this point. You can also download the export to Excel here if you did not previously. Click Finalize Import to enter the data into the system. This still does not file the 1099s at the moment. You'll do that on the checkout screen. On the Select Forms page, please use the Schedule All Vendor eFile button to choose the date to send the information to the federal agency. You can delay the e-file to the IRS up to 3.31.15 to give yourself extra time to make changes to filing information without having to issue corrected forms. On this page, you can also choose the delivery method, email or mail, to send copies to the recipients. If you want to print and mail the forms yourself, make no selection in these columns. TIN matching is available here to help prevent penalties for mismatched taxpayer ID and name combinations. State filings to non-combined federal state filing states can also be chosen here if applicable. You can also view a preview copy, edit, or delete forms at this point. Select the vendors you want to create forms for and click Next. You'll only see this pop-up message if you chose no delivery method for the recipient copies. Enter your payment details here and click Pay Now. We will send you a confirmation email and a receipt for the payment. Email copies go into our queue to be sent as soon as possible. Mailed copies go out within 24 hours. You can check the status of the copies from the dashboard.